In this video, we will show you how to add dollars mocap to custom models in Unreal Engine. First, download the dollars mocap main program on the dollars mocap website. Then, download the Unreal plugin according to your version of Unreal, and this control rig for the UE4 mannequin. We will use this model for demonstration, which can be downloaded here. You can find all the links in the description. Here we have all the downloaded files. The Dollars Mocap Program, Unreal Engine Plugin, the control rig of the UE4 mannequin. And the character file. After extracting the character file, we will export it as an FBX in Maya and import it into our project. Now we have a new project and imported the model, let's take a look at the bone requirements. The character should be facing the positive Y direction, like this. With the bone scaled to 1. Now we need to import the plugins. This is our project. First, create a new plugins folder. Copy the files in the plugins folder into our project. Then the content folder. And we need to copy the control rig of UE4 mannequin into our project as well. This is step 1, then we will enable the plugins. We need to activate OSC and control rig. Restart the project. Then we move on to step 3, we will create a control rig for our skeletal model. First, right-click on our model and select Control Rig, then click Open. Next, open the Control Rig for the UE4 Mannequin. We need to copy the contents of the UE4 Mannequin Control Rig to our new Control Rig. Let's arrange the layout so that we can copy more easily. Let's copy the items in the control section. And then the items in the ADJ section. Then these variables inside my blueprint tab. If you cannot see the my blueprint tab now, you can check it in the window menu. We need to copy these variables to our control rig. This will take some time because we have to copy them one by one. Then we need to copy the rig graph of the control rig. Let's copy the upper half first. Then the lower half. Let's make some arrangement, and connect the two halves. Save and compile it. We have completed step 3.1. Then we need to fill the names variables. Let's open the skeletal mesh.
find its pelvis bone, and copy the bone name. And paste it into the pelvis underscore name variable. Then the spine bone. Then the chest bone. We will fast forward this part. If you are not sure which bone to choose, you can use the UE4 mannequin control rig as a reference. And if your skeleton doesn't have some bones, just leave the bone name variables none. Now we have finished step 3.2. Next, we will need to pose the character into T-Pose by using the underscore adjust controls in the ADJ section. Let's first reset the offset rotation to zero. You can find that the character is back to its original pose while we reset the offset rotations. Now we can adjust the offset rotation of these nodes to put the character into T-Pose. Let's begin from the left shoulder. We should first find which axis needs to be rotated. It seems to be the Z-axis. Let's raise the left shoulder a bit higher. And then the left upper arm. and the left lower arm. And the left hand. Let's leave along the fingers for now. After adjusting the pose, right-click on the node and select Set Initial Transform from Current. This will set the offset rotation using the current values. Let's show this again. You can see the offset rotation is zero, and we have rotation values in the current transform. By clicking the menu item, the offset rotation is set. If the skeleton is well organized, you can use the value on the other side. Let's copy the values, and paste them into the right side. Then, let's move on to the legs. It's the same process. Now, let's move on to the fingers. Except for the thumbs, we can use the values of hand for the four fingers, 
and make some further adjustment. Let's copy the hand value first. And paste the value into the offset rotation of fingers. The fingers look better now. Let's make some adjustments to bring the fingers closer together and point them straight to the left. The process is the same. Make some trial to find which axis to adjust, make the adjustment, and set initial transform. The second and third finger bones can use the value of the first bone. Now the index finger looks fine. Let's adjust the middle finger using the same method. Let's have a look from the front. It looks like the fingers could be made flatter. Let's work on the ring finger and pinky finger. Remember to check the result from different angles. Then let's copy the values from the left hand to the right hand and see if they will work. It seems to be fine. Let's copy the other three fingers. Then for the thumbs, we need to adjust them to be like this. We recommend you to download the finished project to check the result, the download link is in the description.
you can also directly change the values here. Ok, now we have completed step 3.3. The fourth step is to create a new animation blueprint for our skeletal mesh. Let's also open the animation blueprint of UE4 Mannequin. We need to copy these two variables into our animation blueprint. The event graph. and also the animation graph. We will select our new control rig in the control rig node. After compiling the animation blueprint, the preview skeletal mesh should be in T-Pose. Now let's move on to step 5, to create a new character blueprint. We create a blueprint class and choose $MOCAPACTOR as the parent class. After that, we add the skeletal mesh to the blueprint, and save it. The animation mode here is use animation blueprint. And let's select the animation blueprint we just created. The character is in T-Pose now. Now let's add our new blueprint and the dollars receiver class into the scene. In the details view of our blueprint, we select the dollars receiver in the scene, and we are ready. Now we can unzip and launch the dollars mocap main program. If this is the first time you've used the dollars mocap program you will need enter your email and password and register. Once registered, you may log in and let's take a brief tour of the software. You can select the camera here. Or you may use a pre-recorded video file. And using these buttons you may switch between different mocap mode, calibrate, record motions as BVH files. You may find more details on the Dollars Mocap website. Let's use a camera for this tutorial. Notice Dollars Mocap is already tracking you in real time. Now to set up the link from Dollars Mocap to Unreal Engine. In the settings menu, check the box here to enable Unreal Engine streaming. In Unreal Engine, enter play mode, and the character is animated in real time now.